Well, good morning, everyone. Actually, it's still morning in Australia, and it's not morning uh, in America. Good evening, everyone in the USA. But I'm in America. I'm in Australia right now, uh, ready for our biblical creation apologetics conference with myself and Dr. Andrew Snelling, uh, coming at the end of this week. But I wanted to show you today, give you a little look here. Uh, this is unit number 20 and it's 8 Riverland Drive, Logan Home, and that address is actually on the website for the Answers in Genesis Australian uh, bookstore that we have here, and you'll be able to look at the link there. We'll put the link actually in the comments, we'll pin it to the top there, but you can go to our AnswersInGenesis.org website and go up to the right hand side and you can go down there and uh, you can choose which country and you can choose Australia, but we'll put the link, the direct link, uh, in the comments, pin it to the top. And so you can see the nice uh, Answers in Genesis sign that we have here on the door under QA Development. So it's actually a building construction company that uh, my brother owns and runs uh, here in Australia. And he gives us the room in here for a bookstore and also room for a warehouse. And yesterday I did a Facebook Live and showed you our temporary uh, storage areas. Those containers actually showed you one container. There's two 40-foot containers and they've been moved to a different property now. Uh, someone's looking after them for us to be able to put all the books in there. It's just marvellous the way God has raised up all sorts of people even here in Australia to help us really get all this off the ground for Answers and Genesis uh, in Australia. So I'm going to go inside here. We're going to go into the bookstore and uh, give you a little look there. So we'll go in here. Actually right now they had a power problem and so uh, none of the staff are here. They all went out for coffee while they're fixing the power and we had to actually open the back door here because there's no lights except emergency lights right now and the electricians out there working on the power for this building uh, but this is uh, our main warehouse if you like and uh, my brother David decided to uh, put his building materials and things elsewhere although they have some in here uh, with the books so it's an interesting interesting place you got Answers and Genesis books along with kitchen sinks and all sorts of interesting things <laughs> so we're going to go in here uh, to the actual uh, bookstore and we'll sort of walk around here. We opened up the blinds to allow light in until we get the power back on here in the building. Would you believe it? We come here to do a Facebook Live today and the power goes out. But anyway, uh, we'll just walk around here. So you can actually come here uh, during the day and uh, if uh, we have someone who actually works here part-time now and helps us with all of this, but if that person's not there, uh, the other people in the construction company are here and uh, they will make sure that you get uh, looked after. Uh, we're in a little bit of a mess right now because we're taking material ready for our conference at the end of the week and still getting material set up. It's only a small bookstore but uh, it enables us to actually have a place where people can come and get all of our AIG uh, materials. And uh, what we're going to be doing is at the, uh, end, of the end of this week uh, Friday night and Saturday, uh, we have the Biblical Creation Apologetics Conference uh, over there in the Redcliffe Peninsula. And I'm going to get my, uh, my brother to go and get my phone off my wife so that I can uh, look at my Facebook and uh, actually be able to see uh, any comments that you have, any, any questions. But we'll pin this in the comments too, reengage.org.au, reengage.org.au, and you will see there that I and Dr. Snelling are speaking. It's at uh, Mueller uh, College, uh, the church there, uh, and uh, it's at Rothwell. So it's over there in the Redcliffe Peninsula, and people in north of Brisbane will understand that uh, in regard to you know, Redcliffe, Margate, uh, that sort of area. So I'm just going to go on my uh, Facebook here, hopefully, and uh, see if you've got any questions. Uh, you can let me know. And Friday night, uh, I'll be speaking on Genesis and the state of the culture. Actually, Australia, which has never been you know, a real Christianized country, of course, but yet Australia uh, is becoming more secularized. I mean, it's had a sort of a, a Christian sort of uh, morality and uh, worldview to a degree uh, here in Australia because of the uh, British influence. Uh, so... Uh, right now it's becoming so much more secularized and of course just like in America and you see in the rest of the Western world the whole issue of same-sex marriage, gay marriage is really driving the culture in a big way. So I'm going to be dealing with that in my talk on the Friday night at the conference and then Dr. Snelling 
uh, we'll be giving talks Friday night and then again on Saturday dealing with uh, the age of the earth and fossils and dating methods. Uh, not the dating methods as, you know, boy-girl dating methods, you know, the dating methods for, for rocks, radiometric dating methods, and also uh, evidence for the flood. Uh, so let's see uh, who's on here. And, uh, okay, congratulations on the new store. Hope the conference goes well and has electricity. I'm sure it will. Uh, somebody, it's apparently here there was something melted in the, in, the, in the meter box or something, so you've got an electrician working on it. And uh, I see we've put the link there for the Australian store, and we'll also put a link for the conference, reengage.org.au, reengage.org.au. You can go and register online, or you can just turn up. And I know right now uh, we've had a few hundred people that have already registered, and there's a number of others that are telling us that they're coming and groups that are coming uh, that will just uh, turn up. So if anyone uh, has any other statements or questions, uh, it'd be interesting to know where you're all from. And if anyone's from Australia watching right now, because probably a lot of people are at work. I mean, this is Wednesday morning. And as soon as I leave here, um, we're going to go and get some meat pies and mushy peas for lunch is what we're going to do. Uh, so, again, this is our Answers in Genesis uh, little bookstore here. It's open to the public. And you can come in here and obtain the materials. We now have, I'd say, all the major... Answers and Genesis materials that we sell in the USA and also in our uh, place over in England, uh, but the, all the major materials are now available in Australia. And uh, the Sunday School curriculum, we just got that in. A lot of people have been asking about that. 10,000 churches in America use the Sunday School curriculum. It's uh, a four-year uh, Bible curriculum. It's chronological. It goes Genesis to Revelation, biblical authority, and it teaches apologetics. There is no other curriculum like it, like it anywhere else in the world. It is unique in the world. And so uh, that is now available here in Australia. It goes from uh, kindergarten, preschool, all the way up through adult. And it's for uh, it, it's synchronized, totally synchronized, so that every age level does the same material, but at their level. <clears throat> And that's the, the absolutely thrilling thing about it. So somebody here wants me to have a steak and kidney pie. No, I'm going to have a steak and mushroom pie. I'm not going to have a steak and kidney pie. Uh, I don't do innards. Okay. <laughs> so I know some people do, but uh, I don't like doing innards. Although if you have hot dogs, that's probably all you do, all do eat anyway. And come to think of it, I'm not sure what's in those pies either in Australia. They call it meat pie, but who knows what's inside there. Should get it tested one of these days. Uh, so somebody here from Orbis Ormiston. And that's not that far away, no, I don't think. Uh, that's pretty close, yeah. Just and uh, on the bay. Do, do you know what? Do you know what some American asked me this morning? I mean, actually sent me a text, someone I know, and said, "Do they eat turkey for Thanksgiving in Australia?" And you know, do you know the text I sent back? Not all the, of us do it that way. The, the text I sent back. <laughs> okay, a videographer said not all Americans are this way. Text I sent back was the Pilgrims came to America, not Australia. Uh, Twitter. Uh, so I just added that at the end, just uh, uh, for fun. But uh, no, we they don't have Thanksgiving in in Australia. Um, if, and, and, and what what would they be thankful for? Actually, it's a beautiful country. That's what they're thankful for. Uh, somebody here from uh, Newstead. They're working in Newstead right now. And uh, if somebody said they're going to try and get to the conference on Saturday. Uh, so, yeah, the, what we're doing Friday night is different to what we're doing uh, all day uh, Saturday. Uh, and if you go to the reengage.org.au website, it'll tell you the various times when I'm speaking and Dr. Andrew Snelling speaking. We end off with actually a question and answer time uh, on Saturday. Will you guys live stream a walkthrough of the garden lights again? Oh, that's over in, uh, in the States. Uh, yes, we're going to do a, a live stream of the garden lights at the Creation Museum. They're absolutely phenomenal. Uh, so we'll be doing that um, sometime between December 8 and December 30. Actually, be very close to December 8 because December 8 is when the lights and the Christmas town begins at the Creation Museum there in northern Kentucky. And also our spectacular uh, video program that's on the side of the ark. And I'm going to tweet on that uh, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, I'll uh, actually give you a couple of little looks behind the scenes as they're getting ready for this spectacular program and give you 
uh, a, a look at a couple of renderings that'll be on the side of the ark. It's going to blow your mind. This is going to be incredible. Um, if you've ever been to Disney and seen their laser pr projection program on the side of the castle, well, it, it's spectacular. There's no doubt about it. It goes for about 20 minutes, cost them millions of dollars. But this is of that same sort of quality. It's the same sort of thing. And it presents the gospel on the side of the ark. So uh, if people are in America or if in Australia and you decide, hey, I want to go to America in winter. What a wonderful time to come and go to Christmas Town and uh, the Christmas time at the Ark. And it is a great place to come to. Uh, these are spectacular. They're world class programs. But go to ArkEncounter.com, ArkEncounter.com, and that'll get you to both programs at the Creation Museum uh, and at uh, the Ark. Somebody said here, hey, Ken, good day, mate. Yeah, good day. How are you going? Uh, great to see you all. You know, they tell me, uh, our staff in America, and at peak season, we have close to a thousand staff with all the seasonals for all the programs in the summer and so on. But they tell me when I come over to Australia and come back, does something and I have a much stronger Australian accent for a while. Uh, so that's good. I'm getting a shot of the Australian accent while I'm over here. Somebody said here, I've been following what you have been doing for 30 years. Would love to get to see the art. Can't afford to get there yet. Um, yeah, I know the biggest cost for people in Australia is that flight over to America, but uh, keep a watch out for some uh, cheap flights. Somebody said, have a good weekend. Yep, have a good weekend, eh? Uh, yeah, we'll have a good weekend. <laughs> so that's some uh, good Aussie language there. And uh, see what else is uh, on here. Um, so, oh, I see uh, a couple of our staff are actually uh, watching. And what's the time now? It's uh, quarter to 12, so 11, quarter to 10, quarter to 9, quarter to 8, right? Uh, no, it's quarter to 9, yeah. Quarter to 9, 8.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, in Northern Kentucky uh, right now. So those that are in Eastern Standard Time, uh, it's at night. And over here, it's, uh, well, it's almost, almost midday, getting close to midday. So it's still morning here. So again, I uh, just wanted you to see this. We'll just walk around here again. I, I am so thrilled to see this material that has not been available in Australia and hasn't been available. Well, some of it has, a little bit of it has it in various places, uh, but the majority of this has not been available in Australia, and now we do have it available. This is not everything. We just we showed you yesterday a big container load that we shipped over to get the rest of it over here. And uh, we have a whole range of books and DVDs, all our latest books, some of the ones that were published just recently that came out, and uh, all our DVDs uh, that we have. And so we have these available now. We have this bookstore here, Riverland Drive, Logan Home. So it's basically right where the Ipswich Motorway and uh, the, the, and the, and, uh, the main north-south motorway here uh, meet. It's right there at that um, at that junction, basically. And so it's really easy to get to. Uh, so the M1 and the Ipswich motorway, it's right where they come together. And that's where uh, the bookstore is here. It's unit, unit 28 Riverland uh, Drive. And uh, so somebody said it's 2.45 here, where, or where they are. Um, so um, quarter till nine in Kentucky. Yes, that's correct. All right, so uh, again, it was just a, just a reminder about the Biblical uh, Creation Apologetics Conference that's on this Friday night and Saturday uh, north of Brisbane, and there'll be a great uh, turnout for that. We'll have the, the biggest range of creation apologetics and Christian worldview material ever available in Australia. Uh, we'll have there because we have all these materials that were shipped over uh, from the States. And somebody said, will you be back to Kentucky next week? Uh, well... We're going to be back ready for the launch of our Christmas programs at the Ark, which is December 8th, for the video. In fact, we're going to see if we can do a sneak preview on December 7th. That's my wife's birthday. So it'll probably be December 6th, maybe. We'll do a sneak preview. That'll be sent December 6th in Australia, which will be December 7th in America. In, no, it's December 6th in America, which will be December 7th in Australia. Uh, so we'll do a sneak preview and we'll go through and do a sneak preview of all the lights and that uh, at the Creation Museum uh, as well. And uh, so we've, uh, we've got some other things we're doing. Actually, while we're over here, we're actually videoing some uh, young people and children 
uh, we're producing some videos of some of our rhyme books that we have for kids. And so we have uh, some people who are all lined up to uh, actually do that. We wanted people with an Australian accent because we wanted the real English out there. We didn't want American accents on, on these videos. We wanted the Australian accent because it's so much closer to the original, as you all know. And, and the other reason is because in America, I have people tell me with my Aussie accent, it doesn't matter what you say, we just love to hear saying it, see. So um, that will really help. People will want these DVDs. And then we'll have all these little kids all across America speaking with Australian accents as they uh, listen to these DVDs. So with that, uh, I just wanted to do the short Facebook Live. And um, I want to thank my brother David for allowing us to have this here. This used to be the staff lunchroom I think and he threw the staff out of their lunchroom for the poor staff so that we could have the bookstore here and then he uh, we took over his warehouse out here as well so with that uh, hey I want everyone to have uh, a good day out there it's almost midday here uh, in Australia on Wednesday and I look forward to seeing a number of people in Australia on Friday night and Saturday at this conference and really this is in a way the launch of the Answers in Genesis ministry uh, in Australia. We're going to get this underway because we have such a burden to get all these resources into people's hands. We need that all across this nation. And again, on uh, Friday night, I'm going to deal with the issue of same-sex marriage and so on as part of my talk on Genesis and the state of the culture and challenge the church in Australia that they need to believe God's word beginning in Genesis because when you compromise Genesis, uh, you actually undermine the authority of Scripture, and that's why the church is not impacting the culture as once uh, it did. Uh, so with that, everyone have uh, a great day and a great evening, wherever you are in the world. And we'll finish off here at Logan Home uh, in south of Brisbane, here in Queensland, Australia.